Hello everyone, today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video and do a 24 hours testing video because I've seen a lot of people do these and I really enjoy watching them so I thought I'd try give it a go myself so today we're going to be doing 24 hours testing body shop products I don't know if I worded that right but basically I'm only going to be using body shop products for 24 hours so for my makeup, hair, what else is there, like skincare, body, like literally everything beauty related I'm gonna all use body shop products so yeah I thought it'd be interesting to see how we got on but if you do end up enjoying this style of video let me know because I I think I want to sort of branch out on my content a bit so if you do enjoy it let me know also I am still in my dressing gown because it is only half eight in the morning first thing we're gonna do is obviously cleanse our skin because I am gonna put makeup on today I wouldn't usually but for the sake of the video I thought we'd do some makeup as well so before we get into that obviously I want to like cleanse my skin so to do that I'm going to go in with the vitamin E gentle facial wash the vitamin E range I find quite good because it's kind of tailored for all skin types so even though I have quite sensitive dry skin it does work quite well for me so we're going to go in with that and then I will update you about moisturizer when we get back Okay, so I've cleaned my face and I'm going to go in with moisturiser. I was thinking about doing like toner, but realistically, I don't really do that in the mornings. I really just want to get out the door in the morning and I do like my full skincare at night, so I didn't want to like make my routine too different for the sake of the video. So we're just going to skip straight to moisturiser and I'm going to go for the like, carrot cream one. I do actually vary my moisturiser quite a lot depending on how my skin currently is and yeah that's literally it depending on how my skin is if it's quite dry or oily it varies what moisturizer i use but this one works pretty well for me because it is kind of designed to be quite hydrating and my skin is naturally very dry so i don't know if you'll see but it actually comes out like an orange color and that did freak me out like the first time because i thought it was going to kind of tint my skin but it doesn't really so it's all good so while I just wait for that to sink in, I'm just going to go find all the makeup bits I have so that we can get started on that. So first thing I'm going to use is primer. I tend to not put it all over my face. I generally just put it like around my nose and T-zone at the minute. Um, but we're going to use the Insta Blur All-in-One. This one is very popular and I'd say it's quite similar to Benefit Professional in it's the same sort of texture. It's like a sort of silicon style one but it does make your skin feel super smooth which is really nice i'm literally using the tiniest amount because i think i made the mistake the first time i used it and i put loads on and it mm, it didn't feel very nice so now that is on we can move on to foundation to try and fix my very pale face um so we're going to use the fresh nude foundation this is actually the one i use every day anyway um i find i struggle a lot with foundations because like I say I have some bits of skin that are super dry other bits like my forehead get really oily so I struggle to find one that sort of works for everything and this seems to be the best one I've found and it's kind of medium coverage but definitely buildable and it actually looks nice all day it doesn't sort of flake off or crumble so yeah um, the shade I've got is barley vanilla which is 020 so I'm just going to apply a couple uh, a couple I'm just going to apply a couple of pumps on the back of my hand and then use a little beauty sponge to blend it in. So that is my foundation done. I actually don't have any concealer, which is body shop, so I'm going to have to skip that. So we're just going to rock the little bags today. And I also haven't got a blush or bronzer, so I'm just going to look quite pale today. But that's fine, I didn't really want to cheat and add in other products because it just sort of defeats the point of only using Body Shop. So the highlight I'm going to use is the Illuminating Drops of Glow. This is a liquid highlight and actually I usually go for powder highlight just because it's a bit more bold. But this one works really well mixed in with the foundation as well if you want a more dewy look. So it's very versatile. Um, but I'm just going to again apply it to the back of my hand and then sort of apply it with my finger I think. I feel like I put way too much on. So that's the highlight done. I don't think it's massively like OTT but it does give you a nice natural looking glow so if you like a natural highlight this is probably for you. As I say I actually use this quite a lot for mixing with things so it was a very good investment because I've had a lot of use out of it so far. Next we're going to do eyes and I have this little like quad eyeshadow palette if I open it up. I'll be honest I don't typically use like these style of eyeshadow palettes anymore if I am going to use eyeshadow but we'll go for it anyway my only query is they're all shimmer shades so 
I'm probably not going to do anything massively like built up in the crease. I might just pick a colour and whack it on my lid. So I just did a mixture of those top two colours and I actually think this looks quite nice. Um, it applied really nicely. I just used, I don't even know what type of brush this is, just like a little nothing fancy brush basically and it did blend out really nicely so maybe I dismissed this too soon because actually that does look quite nice and I might use the little champagne colour at the bottom just on my inner corner to make me a bit more awake. So next we're going to do mascara and we're going to be using the Lash Hero Fibre Extension Mascara. So as you probably guessed this has two ends, one side is fibres, the other is mascara. I've used this before and it is very good in lengthening your lashes. However, because obviously you're putting a lot of product on, I find it didn't really lift my lashes so they did sit quite straight. So I think I'm just going to curl my lashes first to give it a good shot at looking nice. But yeah, one thing I remember finding quite weird is that when you take the like bits apart the wand is actually on the bigger part whereas you know usually you twist it and then the sort of lid area ends up being your wand it's the other way around which I found quite confusing I don't know why but just an interesting fact for you mascara is done so we're going to do eyebrows and the product we're going to use is the brow sculpt 3-in-1 brow pen again this is one that I do use quite a lot at the minute I've not really been filling in my eyebrows and they do need a wax so please ignore that um, but this one's really good because it has a brow gel in the end, uh, a normal pencil and then, I don't know how to describe it, it's sort of like a little, it looks a bit like a marker pen but I don't really use it because I don't know how and I'm a bit scared of it. Um, so I typically just use the brow gel and the pencil so that is what we're going to do. <laughs> so while I was twisting it to look at the shade I think the pencil bit has just fell out but I don't know where it's gone so I've had a good look and I cannot find it so I think we just have to accept the brow pencil is dead he's gone he's not coming back so um we're just gonna do brow gel today but if you do buy one of these you will get a pencil in it mine just doesn't anymore this brow gel is quite good anyway because it's coloured so it's tinted brown it does sort of fill in your eyebrows anyway when you use it but you just have to be quite precise otherwise you can end up like accidentally mashing bits of brown around your face which I have definitely done before by accident so be warned. I then also did have one of their lip butters but I don't know where it is and I wanted to film my video today so we're just going to go plain on the lips and use a lip butter. This is the coconut one because I love the coconut. I think coconut and mango are like my top two favourite scents so we're just going to put a bit of lip butter on. I love it because it just tastes like holiday to me because I always take um the like mini versions of like their shower gels and everything when I go on holiday. So to finish it all off, I do have one of their face mists as well. So this is the Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. It says it hydrates, illuminates and is makeup friendly. This from what I know is quite versatile because you can put it under your makeup, over your makeup or just use on your bare face like if it's hot or stuff. So I'm just going to put a bit of this on and we can see if it helps make it last because I don't have any body shop powders so we're not going to powder anything today we're just going to see how long it lasts when I check in later it's definitely rosy I'll give it that so I'm pretty sure that is everything I usually do in the morning so I'm now just going to head out do my usual daily things and then I will check back in tonight to do the rest of the skincare and everything else that will probably be a bit more interesting because it'll be like hair wash skincare body care as well so like body butters and all that jazz so yeah i will see you shortly and we're back i decided to switch to a voiceover for this bit because when i was trying to film it in the bathroom with the fan it just wasn't working so anyway the first thing i'm doing is using the chamomile cleansing butter because this stuff literally just melts off your makeup and it's the super simple way to just sort of cleanse your skin initially um, so I just applied that and then washed it off with a flannel. Then we went in with the vitamin C peel and this stuff is really good. It sort of like exfoliates your skin and it's kind of gross when you look at it but it collects like all your dead skin cells and stuff and yeah you'll see it um, in a second. All this like grey stuff is all my dead skin cells which is pretty grim but kind of cool in a way. Um, so yeah. That was all I did pre-shower so moving on to the stuff I wanted to use when I was in the shower. I decided to go for the ginger shampoo and conditioner because this stuff is really good for anti-dandruff and a dry scalp which I have and I also use this like little brush with it because it boosts the circulation on your scalp and really helps stop build up 
and then I also picked the hemp shower oil because again this is really good for dry skin so that was the stuff I decided to use in the shower and then once we got out it was very steamy so the quality is not so great which I apologise for but the first thing I did was use the Drops of Youth facial oil because my skin as I say is very dry so at night I like to give it a lot of moisture so I went in with this facial oil first and then I followed up with the Oils of Life Revitalising Cream because again this stuff is super good for really dry skin and I have quite sensitive skin and I have eczema and this stuff still works really well for me so I definitely recommend it if you do have super dry skin. Then I went in with the Drops of Youth eye cream and this stuff is sort of like a gel consistency so it is quite refreshing to use as well. Um, so I was just applying that and I do find when I remember to use it, it does make a big difference to the bags under my eyes because even though I sleep a lot, I always look tired so yeah this is sort of an essential for me and I really need to remember to do it more often. Then I went in with the Rich Plum Body Yogurt and this was my final step and I just applied this to my arms and legs to again help moisturise because this stuff sinks in really quick so it's a lot easier than a body butter and yeah then I was done. I hope you enjoyed that video, if you did please give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe because it really helps me out and let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the future because as I say I would like to branch out with the sort of things that I film. So yeah I hope you guys have a really good day and I will see you very soon with another video.